my name is Grant, and I'm going to return to streaming the random theme quests. So tonight, I will be streaming Grinding Mushroom by Red Tribe Link. So let's get to the description, shall we? An adventure game... Okay, so, yeah. Epic Mushroom Explorer. An adventure game where you go to school with dwarves and it's very grindy okay I see and it says here travel throughout the realm searching for legendary mushrooms that are the ingredients to make a potion that will work your classmates from a deep sleep unlike the slipstream this is a simpler game inspired slightly from Minish Cap which is built to be expanded upon and fixed up later in the future, although not by a large scale. The quest features a simple 8x8 overworld, three small dungeons, unique exploring gimmicks, experimental gameplay mechanics. Note, a final dungeon was planned for this game, but unfortunately due to time, there won't be one for this entry. In fact, the ending will be a bit abrupt. However, when this gets released to database, there will probably be a final dungeon, along with some smaller add-ons. Okay. So, uh, that's it, I think. I think it... So let's start playing uh, Grinding Mushroom. Give me a second. Okay, let's begin. Grinding Mushroom. What a name. The name of these quests. Well, Hollow Forest don't sound too bad. And, but wait, well, never mind. The Grinding Mushroom is actually the weird sound of one. <laughs> uh, wake up, boy. You don't want to be late for class, do you? I guess it's a good thing you live off campus with me. Someone's got to make sure you wake up. Just head on over to Summit University. You can't be late for grinding class. Grinding class? I know. It's like I'm lid... Uh, like at the sprite, it's like I'm just sat down or just lid down. It's like, ah. Just take it easy. Sweet, I got my own freaking statue. I got two statues. A statue of me and a statue of this this fairy. I'm doing well. Sure, I got no weapons. Moblin? I mean, now it's a moblin. Octorock? Freak off, I got no weapons. Octorock, go mind your own business. Why is everything spitting and throwing shit? Already, it's only the beginning game, and everything is firing projectiles at me. <laughs> Ouch, you dick! It's a good thing I got a whole ton of hearts, though. But everything is throwing projectiles. Could you just like have like non-projectile throwing enemies just like at the beginning of the game? Okay, it's random garden gnome. I heard there's a secret passage near the dean's area. Is this an honor tune from uh, Chrono Cross? The, it's, I think so. so, so that would make two already. I guess we have a Chrono Cross fan? Dean's office. Hmm. I'm pressing the R hard container. Property of... Epsilon Emporium. Pay with one Epsilon token. Have you ever seen security hit that odd looking thing up there with an arrow? Suppose. Be on the lookout for bombable caves and rocks. You never know what you'll find. Since, since when have they been officially bombable caves? 
It's like, oh, there's a little bit of like rubble in that cliff, or there's a crack in that cliff. It's officially titled a bombable cave. That is, it, it's 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 the title of it. You know, it's it's a bombable cave. It cannot be anything else. It can't be like a little bit of rubble in a in a stone wall. It can't be that. Ah, Link, right in time for class. All right. Welcome back to grinding class, students. Today, we're just going out in the back and get a little field practice in the grass. So grab your grinding sword and head on out in the back. Remember, the final is next week. So, must still be weird being uh, the only human in class among us dwarves. Anyways, I'm really stressed about this final. I still can't believe Dr. Moore doesn't teach this class now. It's funny, anyone who's a Zelda fan considers Link a human, but anyone who doesn't understand Zelda considers him an elf. People who's never played Zelda says, well, he's an elf. Big hardcore Zelda fan says he's a human. I don't know, it's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's interesting. He, he's a human who dresses like an elf, I guess. Actually, no, that's that's not entirely true because even uh, in the recent interview with Shigeru Miyamoto, didn't he himself say Link is not a human? So was he implying that Link is in fact indeed a, 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 an elf? Could this miss? Uh, could this uh, misinterpretation that us Zelda fans couldn't be having have started with uh, with Orcrean of Times Kakiri? being kind of like elvish while Hylians were separate from that? Could Hylians have always been an elvish species uh, before the Kakiri? Because I think that's the only games that actually had the Kakiri. <laughs> this new guy doesn't even give out study guides. I heard a rumor though. A rumor that Dr. Moore did the study guides in various patches of grasses around the world. Oh well, guess I'll just have to study hard. You're heading to potion class after this, right? Okay, students. Remember, keep practicing for the final, and please, take your swords with you. You got the grinding sword. Standard issue at the university. So, yeah, that's got me thinking now. There's... There's probably a really good chance... Oh, I just got a mushroom. There's probably a really good chance that Hylians are elves. There's nothing that I could think of that would suggest otherwise. It's just a... It's just an... Uh, it's just an elvish race. There is nothing... There is nothing to suggest otherwise. Other than the appearance of the Kakiri. And they, uh, they only appeared, for what I remember, one single game. The Kakiri was never shown in the series again. Exactly, right? Link, it's not what it looks like. Someone poisoned the potion for class and is putting other students in deep sleep. Good thing you didn't get here early. I could make a cure, but I don't have the ingredients. I need special, special mushrooms. There are three legendary mushrooms hidden in three shines that I would need to make the cure. If you can find those, we can make... Well, we can wake everyone up. There's one problem, though. The snow has been piling up and blocking off pathways leading to the shrines. If you can find a fire flower, then you could get through it. They bloom at Ritter Foz. Hurry, Link. Find the mushrooms. Once you find the flower, once you, uh, I'm supposed to be finding mushrooms, not flowers. Once, once you find a flower, hit up to Glen Harith Woods for your first mushroom. Good luck. So, so that was just random. It's like here, it's like I was just in school. It's like here's your. Uh, I'm not gonna overthink that one. Yeah, it's uh, it's safe to assume now. Uh, especially after my modal's confirmation, 
especially after Marmo's confirmation, he did say that Link is not human. It's it's almost good to make that, like what you're saying, what is an elf but a human with pointy ears. It's really good to make a, a short bet that Link and all Hylians are elves. I know, like, I know there's some, like, there is probably some fans in Zelda communities like, no nah, man, it's not, it's not an elf, Link. Elves are gay, man. <laughs> But do you not think that there are some people who look at look Zelda like, man, the Zelda's gay, man. <laughs> it's like they, they, uh, <laughs> they look at the exact, they look at Zelda the exact same way as what you or I would look at, uh, Peter Pan or whatever, like, and, uh, even though in some communities, some communities love Peter Pan. Is the sound I'm getting from those mushrooms, does that, like, sound like Discord sounds? Am I hearing Discord sounds? Uh, is that is that? Let me see. Uh, I don't know. It's weird. I I don't know if this come from the game or or what. Weird. Okay, it's a bit of a weak sword. Have you looked at Link? That's that guy's wicked gay. <laughs> Yeah, I'm picking up something that sounds like Discord sound effects. Okay, wait a second. Yeah. Well, the music just stops. Oh! You found study guide. Better bring these to someone who needs it. Hmm. Okay, so there's my map there. Heart container, property of. Um, okay, I don't have. Okay, that's why the L and R is there. But yeah, the reason why I thought about that, like, uh. Uh, I remember having that uh, conversation with someone. It's like, man, I, like I like Zelda. He's like, man, how could you like Zelda, man? Like, he's an elf. Zelda's gay. <laughs> that, that's a silly fucking argument, right? It's like, it's a fucking kids' game. What do you like Zelda for? <laughs> well, I, I, but that actually, I will say right now that. This is one thing I do say right now, that there's no doubt about it, I believe that Zelda is primarily a kid's game. It's it's not a mature game by any means. Now granted that doesn't mean, that doesn't mean like I'll still play Mario, like Mario's a kid's game. Like I hate, I'll probably like, like I'm probably like pissing off everybody from the Zelda community now with that, but there's no denying that, that's, that it is what it is. We're playing. We're playing a game that's primarily targeted towards children. Even though they had some uh, games targeted for uh, the teenage audience, uh, Twilight Princess. But even then, I still think that uh, rating is fair. Like, what in that game? Am I really stuck? <laughs> what the hell? Didn't I like use this? This is uh, reminding me of Shattered Courage all over again, uh, this, with this music. I know I used the Shattered Courage for snow areas, but probably because it is a snow area attack attack. I'm stuck! I am stuck! It's six, it is then.